Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Illustrator, and it's Jack from Blue Sky Graphics. What I'd like to do today, guys, is show you how to create this ring text effect with an Adobe Illustrator. A really, really cool idea that you can implement into your graphic design designs and your graphic design life. Um, and it's a really easy, simple, step-by-step -step process that you need to follow to create such effects. So what I'd like to do is show you how to create this amazing ring text effect within Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the selection button, select it and delete it and remove it. So we're gonna start afresh. Okay, so first of all, what I'll need to do is create some typography. So we're gonna get our type tool here and we're gonna come through. Let's just quickly make sure this is white so we can see what we're doing. Fantastic. And I'm gonna type in blue sky graphics. Okay, so. You're going to enlarge this now by pressing Option uh, from the Mac or Alt on Windows to resize from the center point and press Shift at the same time also as well, just to increase the size a bit like so. Okay, using the uh, selection tool, what I'm going to do is use the shortcut Option on a Mac to duplicate or Alt on the Windows and press Shift to keep it nice and straight in line, like so. And what I've done there is I've made a, a transformation commandment so I can continue that with a very simple shortcut on the Mac, it's Command-D. On Windows, it's Control-D. Just to continue like so. I'm gonna select everything like so here and using the same shortcut option, click and drag on a Mac or Alt, click and drag on Windows. I'm just gonna duplicate to the right there like so. And yet again, using the shortcut Command-D on Mac or Control-D on Windows, I'm just gonna repeat it one more time. Okay, so I've got the basis now of uh, my type. So what I need to do is now create this into a symbol. So I'm just going to select everything like so. And if we go to window, symbols. Okay, now with that selected, what I'm going to do now is come to this little plus sign and create a new symbol. Let's call this the blue sky graphics symbol as it's always wise to label your elements. Fantastic. Now I can remove this. Wonderful. We're going to get an ellipse. Okay, I'm going to come and press shift to make it nice and straight. So a nice and proportionate and option on a Mac or auto windows to resize from the center point, probably around that size there, like so. Now with that selected, <clears throat> I'm gonna to go to Effect, 3D and Materials. Now Illustrator recently have updated all their 3D uh, elements, but we're gonna stay with the classic option. As you can see here, we have 3D classic, and the option that I would like to use is Revolve. Wonderful, okay. So now let's start to sort of resize and, and get the proportion that I want. Probably the offset now, what I'm gonna do is probably make that around, say 220, like so, wonderful. Gonna come here, probably make this minus 34-ish, like so. I'm here, let's change that around sort of 37. Wonderful. I'm going to come through here and change this angle to probably around minus 14. Like so. Okay. And I'm going to come through here, probably change the perspective to around sort of 30, 29 ish. Okay. So I've created all the angle and I've created everything I need to, to do. Now, what I need to do is uh, place my symbol onto this. Uh, ring that I've created. So what I'm going to do now is come to our map our option, like so. And we can see our symbol options here. We're going to scroll down. As you can see, we have the blue sky graphics symbol. Wonderful. Now with that selected, I'm going to come to this option here and go scale to fit. Wonderful. And as you can see now, it's stretched to fit the whole ring. Just going to press OK. And let's press OK. And with that inner uh, circle that I originally created, I'm going to use a direct selection tool and select it. I'm just going to change the color now to the background color, which is obviously black. Let's come through. The code for black is six zeros. Like so. And now if we use our selection tool, we can move this into place. Like so. And there you have it, guys. That's how you create the ring text effect within Adobe Illustrator. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, please, please take a look at our website at bluespygraphics.co.uk 
also as well check out our socials and um, there's some really uh, interesting information on there and some really uh, talented uh, and special work by really skilled students there's always recordings coming out on a weekly basis as well guys so make sure you take a look at them um, some really cool uh, tutorials and some effects stuff that you need to know within the graphic design life thank you very much guys take care and i'll see you next time